Yeah, Isai Rodriguez ran 28.08, which is good enough to qualify. You got to think about him as a factor in the 10K outdoors. We have yet, mm-hmm. we've yet to see Isai in like a competitive championship style outdoor track race or even indoor because he's kind of been always banged up during his outdoors and indoor seasons. Uh, yeah. But hey, 28.08, that means you'll be in it for the 10K. Uh, over at Rally Relays, Mercy Chilean got ran 32 mid. It's pretty good. It's actually very good. She beat the whole field by like a minute. Mercy Chilean got, man. Everyone now knows. I just wish I, th- I just wish people give me a little more you credit. You should make sure how good she was. Too many shirts. I knew before you knew or something like that. Mercy <laughs> Chilean got stands. Uh, on the men's side, uh, Yaren Goose ran 1340, won the 5K. Um, nice mm. little easy 1340. Could we see a what, – what if Yared like secretly is going to run the 5K at NCAs as a prep for 15 at trials, a little change of pace? Like him and Cole Hawker are like, yo, let's just do the 5K. And they're like, all right. Mm-hmm. And then all the 5K runners are like, crap. What are we doing? Um, and then uh, two Villanova guys ran sub 340, which is, you know, sub 340 isn't crazy, but 339 – at the NCA level, it's pretty good. Uh, Sean mm-hmm. Dolan and Casey Comer. So, all around some solid efforts. It's weird. NCA running right now, it's all about just getting qualifiers for being top 32, which is going to be a mm-hmm. storyline that we'll talk about as the season progresses because I looked into it. There are going to be some fast people who finish like 33rd to like 40. Eight, right? I mean, I know, like, mm-hmm. if you if if you're good, you'll you, you'll be top ten, right? But in these mm-hmm. distance events, it's going to be kind of wild, right? Especially in the ten k and the five k, um, to see where that cutoff becomes. Because I think in the West, you could argue that it will take like thirteen forty five to get in, which is pretty quick. So, didn't you say? Didn't you have a different time last episode? Maybe thirteen forty two. That's what I said last time. And I thought you said slower, and I thought you just made it faster. So people oh, relying 48. on – 48. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that sounds 48. familiar. Okay, so if you're relying sorry. on Gordon for what you need to run, maybe – just run really so, fast. Yeah, just run just faster run, than what I said. Yeah. Run 13.35 or something just to be, I don't think just to be 100% me. safe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got one of your picks wrong already, which is disappointing. I think people want to What was pick see, I got wrong? Uh, well, didn't you have – you had Nagus losing, correct? Yeah. To Christian Noble, who didn't run the race, so it doesn't count as a wrong. You got to make sure you get your DNFs and your DNSs right, man. No, no, the, man. No, 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 no. In the I don't, sport I don't, of track and field, you. every time <laughs> someone scratches or pulls out, it doesn't count. Yeah. So. You get a return on your ticket. You did say Laird is going to have a big weekend, and I saw he won the, the pre, he ran the fastest prelim time, so he looks pretty good for, for LSU. So keep an eye on Mr. Terrence Laird 